have no fucking idea what that was, but I am colossally pissed off. Streamlabs has been going to shit lately. It keeps dropping my connection. I know it's not my internet. <laughs> there is a fucking conspiracy to stop me from playing this game. Alright. Angry Joe is trying to get me. Uh, luckily, nothing happened. In this stream alone, we've had the game crash and the stream crash. Like, what the shit? Oh, okay. Can I verify? Okay, great. Alright, contact Madison St. James. Should be here. Meet with Madison St. James and find out what she knows about Marburg's presence at Rome and how the Veteran Combat Initiative is involved in these plans. Use caution. There's not much on Madison in the records. This may be a setup. Intel acquired for mission 1. You acquired the dossier right up of Madison. Okay, I straight up thought that was a lightning storm and I was about to flip out. <laughs> it's just another plane. Thank you for meeting me, Mr. Thornton. Let's discuss what you told me over the phone. I know it sounds crazy. Where to begin? Just start at the beginning. And don't edit yourself, just tell it. I work for the Veteran Combat Initiative, VCI. They're a global military contractor. My boss, Mr. Marburg, I think he's involved in something illegal. So I checked it out, and your name came up several times in our database. What makes you think he intends to kill me? Termination contracts. Even one for a man named Albara, a professor here in Italy. It was cross-linked to several contracts Do within the VCI. Do you have the contracts? That'd be valuable evidence. Not on me, no. I see. Mr. Thornton, I'm not sure what to do next. Go to the authorities? Is there someone I should notify, or...? Madison, you did the right thing warning me, and I appreciate it. I probably shouldn't have accepted your call. I think that may make things worse for you. For me? I think I was a little more worried about you. And I appreciate it. I'll do whatever I can to protect you. You need to look out for yourself first. Mike, Marburg is going to try and kill you. What are you going to do? Miss St. James, you've only been employed by the VCI for a short time, and as Marburg's assistant, that's an important position, especially for a man of his influence. Yes. I was abroad. You imagine how terrifying it would be to, to be Madison bills. in this scenario? I like, you're just working for, like, a veteran... The language skills help. <laughs> uh, uh, like, a veteran uh, VCI as, like, an assistant to some guy, and... Sensitive information. <laughs> you find a bunch of assassination I'm contracts, and then you meet with a guy who's going to be assassinated, and he just knows everything about you. I don't know what you're looking for. But the VCI office in Rome isn't Marburg's personal office. He does most of his work off-site, or when he travels. But he's here now, so where would he store the information while in Rome? He has a villa. I've been there several times. If the files exist, I'm guessing they'd be there. Along with Marburg? Yes. Give me the address. Can you get me in? What? Passcodes, details on the security system, anything would be helpful. I can give you the address, but that other information... Trust me, if you can get me into the mansion, I'll get the information, and then your boss goes away for good. Mr. Thornton, Marburg is... I've never seen him angry, but everything about him... He's a dangerous man to cross. I'll protect you. If he gets by me, then no one can protect you. Uh, all right. Mr. Thornton, I trust you. If I can help you, I will. I can get you the address to the villa. And the names of the files you need to search for. Shout out to that sax in the background, Come by the me. way.
In an unusual coincidence, Marburg's executive assistant, Madison St. James, learned of a contract taken out on Agent Thornton's life by her superior, Conrad Marburg. Once she learned that- WHAT IS WITH THESE PLANES?! Excuse me. Once she learned this, she attempted to contact local authorities, but Agent Thornton and Mina Tang intercepted the call. During the conversation and the subsequent meeting, Agent Thornton attempted to learn Madison's motivation and involvement with Operation Dias Vault. Madison St. James provided the location of Marburg's villa in Rome. That seems to be the next logical place to look for further information on the plot. After meeting with Madison, Thornton brought her to the safe house and Rome to prevent Marburg from harming her and to keep an eye on her. Manu mission game, investigate Marburg's villa. I ruined saxophones for my friend's sister. Oh. You're that bad of a player, huh? <laughs> oh. What is that? It's like a bone or something? I'm watching a show and I said, yeah, you hear that sweet porno sax? I think that sax was a little too easy listening for porn. Not that I'm familiar with porno saxes, but I imagine, I imagine a porno sax has to be more sexy, and that was more the kind of sax, like, that's like, that's like coffee shop sax. That's not really like sex sax. That's not dirty enough for a sex sax. Porno sax is a tenor saxophone. Yes, I know what that means with my amazing musical talents. Uh, Alright, you want to go straight up tactical armor on this? Thinking tactical armor, weighted armlets. Integrated circuitry. Improved digital camo. And multi-spectral flashbulbs. Honestly, this is better armor than I would normally have anyway, so it's probably cool. Alright, three... Two, and we're already going. Handler, Madison St. James. Hello, the first time. <laughs> See, uh, one thing I will say about this is the game makes a big deal about handlers and how much they like you. But I actually think that... Um, I, I think that it's a not well enough implemented system. Like, I, I think that they probably plan to put it in the game more than they ended up doing. Uh, because 90% of the time, Mina is just your handler. What's this? Looks like this. I don't think knowing what it would look like is going to tell me what it sounds like, but okay. Oh, that is like the most stereotypical saxophone I've ever seen in my life. You have just like, you have somehow got the platonic archetype of a saxophone and then sent me that image. <laughs> Sounds a bit like 014. I'm going to have to mute this, aren't I? There's no way I can play the, whatever this is on stream. I don't know. I don't think you, I mean, you, I mean, a saxophone, I think, is a saxophone. Honestly, I think you would need to play that dirtier. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you could for sure use a saxophone, like, for porno saxes, but I think you would need, I think, I think you need a dirtier sound. I think it's more about the sound than it is about the specific saxophone you're using. Um, cause there's a difference between like a sort of like, like that's like street sax is what that is. And before we were listening to like coffee shop sax, but there's a very specific, like stereotypical porn sax. 
Using the intel gained from Madison, you've decided to meet Conrad Marburg at his villa outside Genoa. You can't take the chance Marburg will destroy his files if you're spotted entering the ground, so you decide to use the direct approach. Walk through the front door and let them take you to Marburg. Use this opportunity to learn what you can, taking any action you deem necessary to deal with Marburg and his operation. You acquire the dossier write-up of Marburg's agents who are likely to face on the mission. You acquire a map of the villa, which indicates a concealed entrance in the garden. You won't be using any of this, but you buy it all anyway. Time to punch. Narcissist much? Thor. My apologies for relieving you of your weapons, but I'm sure you understand. It's okay. I'll get them back. I've been tracking your progress in Rome, and I've made a recommendation to my superiors. And? They dislike inefficiency as much as I do. You and I have a common goal, yet we're working at cross-purposes. A common goal? How do you figure? Mike... I've been in your situation. Didn't know it was called a tanner because everyone I knew you just called it a porn SX. Government. As for being left in Saudi Arabia. I don't know. I, I see, I grew up in the mean ghettos of Nolens. Not come back. So I have heard a lot of saxophone. Perhaps I need another employer. Halbeck rewards loyalty. I noticed that coming in. I mean, you will feel satisfaction in your work. You will have confidence and respect in your superiors, and they will show the same. We don't leave our people behind, Thornton, nor do we throw them to the wolves when it's politically convenient. Oh, that's wrong. We could use agents. They do. I have proof they do. You don't have to hide or be hunted any longer. You would be doing the hunting. My situation has nothing to do with my mission, or my faith in my country. Even if your country feels differently about you? It isn't my country, it's the people claiming... Everyone associates New Orleans with uh, Trumpet? It's the home of jazz, baby! It's all about the jazz! A shame. Street jazz! You would be willing school to jazz! But I, haven't I learned jazz in it. class! I wasn't good at it! They would recruit. No <laughs> this is true. They actually and recruited people for band. Trumpets. Oh no no no. Yeah no. I'm aware trumpets are in jazz. I'm just. What I'm saying is so are saxophones. Oh, I guess that's that. No, I just need my gear. Mean I'm not gonna say I haven't seen trumpets. That would be a complete lie. I've yeah, seen every instrument you can imagine. Can you override the security systems? No, I can't patch through to security. Because Louis Armstrong was from New Orleans, yeah. Would Madison or Z know the layout? It depends who you want to help you out, Mike. I can patch Madison through, or I can stay on the line. Just say the word. Madison's been here before, Mina. She has first-hand knowledge of the villa. All right, Mike. It's your call. I'll transmit the frequency for her to use. How does yeah, we had, work? like, jazz bands okay. come on in, yeah, and they're like, Madison. check out all this jazz! Yes, Mike, I, I'm not really sure how much I can help. You know this villa better than me. Just I do not claim I to be you knowledgeable on jazz. Or armed guards. I do not okay. claim that. All right, then. Let's go. I am just saying I have heard a lot of jazz. As I said, I, uh, I did not do well in jazz class. <laughs> According to Naked City, they play a ton of crowd, jazz snobs, metalheads, and punks. Yeah, I, uh, I, I did not, I did not do well in, and I have had many music classes, and I did well in none of them. Because I'm tone deaf. Flashing. 
Starbird's private line. You should be able to listen in. Just be careful when you hit the speaker button. Do I proceed? It depends. Is everything in place? Almost. There's a few last things that need to be taken care of, but I don't anticipate any problems. I hope not. Call me when you have something more. Yeah, I have trouble uh, telling octaves. I'm not 100% bad at it. Like, I can tell, but sometimes I can't tell the difference between octaves. So, yeah. Who's out there? I'm very, very bad at music. You are not tone deaf. I also took a tone deaf test. Weirdly enough, uh, I was incapable of telling the difference between uh, half octaves, but I did better on other octaves. It's very weird. I'm very inconsistent. Sometimes I just can't tell the difference. I'm partially tone deaf, probably. Surprise! I got my gear. Holy shit. Okay, that could have went better. Naked City also used to have a guy in the band named I. He was from Japan, didn't speak English, and his job was to scream. <laughs> the best job possible. He then went on to make children's content on YouTube. So much for stealth. Okay, alright. But you saw that, right? I stood there... I left the room, and then, like, six dudes teleported into the area with me. Uh, no one could be stealth- Look, if people are gonna be teleporting, I don't know how I was gonna be stealthy in the first place. There is nothing more stealthy than a gun. A friendly reminder that I'm using tranquilizer darts, by the way, just so no one thinks I'm splattering people's brains all over the ground. Appreciates fine art or the statue? Let's just say I've never seen him entertain any female guests, Mike. I'm actually wondering if I should because I kind of missed an area, but I don't know how important it was. So I'm wondering if I should actually reload. Yeah, I'm gonna you know what? This is gonna sound crazy, but I am gonna reload this mission. I'm not crazy, you're crazy. Shut up. Ow. Well.
I just want it perfect. I gotta do my perfect playthrough. I mean, I actually did mess up part of it already. So I don't think it's gonna be that perfect, but... Narcissist much? Thorny. My... It's okay. Materia is probably the Perhaps best I need system. Employer. How that rewards loyalty. I noticed that coming in. And I mean, you will feel Final Fantasy in your work. at least. You will have confidence and respect in your superiors. I will and say the job system in Bravely Default's really good, but I don't know how it compares to Final Fantasy V's job system. Thornton, nor do we throw them to the I would say the job system in Bravely Default is better yet. than Materia, but Materia is actually definitely one of the best RPG to... systems. Because there's like... So, there's so much interaction you can do between the system, and there's so much, like, stuff and combinations you can do with it. Like, the abilities aren't just, like, this one does fire! It's, like, there's interactions between your equipment and... I can stay on the line. Just say the word. And, and the materia and other materia control. that creates these oh, really right, unique Mike. power combos call. that you really don't get in a, a lot of games. Frequent. There's a lot of, like, versatility and customization you don't usually get in most games. Uh, the worst thing I hear about espers is that... Worst thing I hear about espers is that they take a while for you to get, and by the end of the game you're this beast of destruction. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not super familiar with six, but I know that there is just a sheer amount of versatility in. What's through the side door? His office. That sounds interesting. There is a sheer amount of versatility in materia that you just do not get in most other RPGs. Again, surpassed only by Bravely Default's job system. Marburg's private line. You should be able to listen in. Just be careful when you hit the speaker button. Do I proceed? It depends. Is everything in place? Almost. There's a few last things that need to be taken care of, but I don't anticipate any problems. I hope not. Call me when you have something more. I'm going to actually go invisible. We all know stealth is easier when you're invisible. Punch that guy in the throat. Open this door. Punch this guy in the throat. Who's out there? Nice bust. I'm sorry? Uh, never mind. Bam! Oh, get in there. Careful. I think there's a camera outside the museum exit door. All right. Hey, Arsic, what's going on with you? How's it going tonight? Back doing a little bit of alpha protocol. Ah! Just talking about the Materia system in Final Fantasy VII as I replay part of this game that we just played on stream because I'm crazy. Also, we're hoping to beat the game tonight. Trying to mod FF6. Interesting. To do what exactly? 90% more trains?
Bang! Restore classic font sprites. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really have any particular attachment to uh, old school sprites for FF6 because I never, never played FX. I'm pretty sure I've actually literally never played that game. Esper's work is to start only Terra and Celeste can use magic. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. But after a certain point in the story, you gain Esper's. You equip Esper's to a character and they gain points to unlock spells. Once you get that spell, it's just on that character for good. Oh, okay. It's actually kind of similar to the equipment system in, um... Nine... FF9. Yeah, I don't know. I would probably... I would probably just play with whatever version I had access to at the time. Which might be the Steam version. But I I understand not liking upgrades. Uh, I mentioned in Gistord you don't get stat boosts outside of HP and MP, but Esper's when equipped can give stat boosts to certain stats as you leveled up. Esper's always can be used as summons. I assumed they could be. So it's kind of like... What am I trying to say? It's kind of like your EV training your Final Fantasy character. Which honestly sounds really annoying and terrible. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, this time I didn't get a bunch of people to teleport in here. Alright, well that works perfectly. I'm pretty sure I picked up nothing from that, and it was a complete waste of time. I think... No, 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 I did. I did. No, I... Yeah, I got some information, because I, I hacked one of the computers. So it was all worth it. It was all worth it, everyone. I didn't just waste our time. Four and six are two of your favorites. Yeah, I never played four or six. I've played... Uh... I've played at least... I've played about a half of one. I played a bit of two. I played... Seven. Played a bit of eight. Played nine. Played most of ten. Played twelve. That game sucks. Uh, played 13, that game sucks. Uh, and played a good amount of 13-2, which is actually a pretty uh, good I game compared to 13, or... but my god does it run like crap on Steam. Worst part of 7 is when they decide to go through the annoying uh, button prompt mini games at random. <laughs> oh, the parade. Oh, how long did we spend on my parade stream? I played 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and uh, disc 1 of 13. Oh, yeah, I forgot Xbox version of uh, 13 had multiple discs, didn't it? You didn't play nine. Nine's good. Nine's a good game. That water looks like crap. I liked 13 when I played it originally. Uh, and then when I replayed it, 
like, uh, like I liked it when I played it the first time, and I liked it when I played it on stream, but then when I decided to get to it, get it on Steam and then play it again, I th realized it was terrible. It's it is not a good game. It's not it's not even bad for the reasons people say it's bad. It's not because it's linear. It's everything else. I rented 13 from Blockbuster because all I knew about Final Fantasy was my cousin likes it. So I rented 13 and I played it and I had fun and said, insert disc 2. So it turns out Blockbuster only had disc 1. Delight. Where does disc 1 take you? Does it take you... My guess would be to Pulse. I, my guess is Pulse is the start of disc 2. God, Pulse is where that game goes from bad to just absolute terrible. Like, be, because Pulse is so wishy-washy, because the whole game is, like, this whole, like, linear line, and that's fine. That works for it. But once you get to Pulse, it opens up into this huge, obnoxious area with enemies that don't scale to your proper level. And the way that Crystallum works is it always caps your experience level, so it's not like you can grind to a higher level. So you end up just getting, like, completely thrashed. I'll watch for snipers. That was two different complaints that sounded like the same complaint because I said them too close together. But those are two different complaints. Pulse suddenly opens up the game in an awkward way with enemies that don't scale properly to your level. Dot. Space. Like, straight, straight up. Period. Right? Space. Also, there's a problem with the crystal and preventing you from grinding your experience properly right and the enem and the because the game is so linear and because it's like because the game is so linear it's also extra hard to grind so you end up in these like weirdly unwinnable situations where you need to spend like five minutes waiting for enemies to respawn as you walk back and forth if you didn't invest your uh, crystal points in the right area it's a real pain in the ass game honestly just like every aspect Looks of that like game I'm is a huge pain in the ass it's a Good. Might have time for a quick game. I'm pretty sure I've literally never rented a video game from Blockbuster. First uh, grinds of a game I've played with SMT5. Holy shit, Taito is so annoying. Yeah, I remember you were complaining about that. Didn't you, like, actually have to break down and get the uh, experience DLC? Worst grind I've ever seen was uh, Nep. Mega Dimension Neptunia. I was the first time I ever cheated to finish a Nep grind. Because that was nonsense, what they wanted you to do. Excuse me. Most NEP games have DLC that makes grinding easier, but not that one. I mean, it is doable without the IJM reviewer and Marsh both did it without the DLC, uh, but I think it'd be bothered to grind for weeks on it. No, I, for sure. 
Yeah, no, I get you. Last time I had to do that was Digital Devil Saga because that game's final dungeon uh, has XP gain. Bang! Uh, that is how you do it. Huh? Shit, XP gang. Gotcha. I did a bunch of side quests, so I didn't actually have to deal with that, if I remember correctly. I also think I added an XP sheet at one point. <laughs> and I regret nothing. That's actually a thing with, like, all Mega 10 games, really, is that their XP gains are just terrible. Just, like, obnoxiously bad. I cheated for XP in Nocturne HT, basically. I mean, hey, sometimes you got to. Uh, so I thought there was a zip lying down, but there isn't. There is a sniper rifle, but we all know we don't kill. Lower the difficulty to merciful whenever I needed to grind. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, that's a strategy. I remember I played that game on the easiest difficulty, so I didn't have that ability. You're so ridiculous? What are you so ridiculous about? Um. What the shit? All right, shut down auto turrets. Don't mind if I do. Must hack faster. Damage you uh, take laughably low. The damage you give laughably high and the experience gain huge. That just sounds like my kind of difficulty, frankly. Uh, installed the new GPU. Nice. Got everything set up, and instead of testing performance or attempting to play any games, I'm sitting here trying to mod in a SNES game. You know what? What is... Uh, a, a, a PC for, other than playing the games you want to play when you want to play them, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, look what I'm using mine to play. Alpha Protocol? Pff, you think this is pushing my system? It isn't. Just put it back to normal and I was done grinding. See, I would just leave it like that forever. Sounds like the perfect difficulty, frankly. You know the best game for that is, like, Bravely Default has... This isn't necessarily related to, like, encounter or, or uh, uh, experience gain or anything, but, um... Tiz in Bravely Default, has the ability to adjust encounter rates. So you can set it to either have no encounters whatsoever, or you can, like, double the encounter rate. It's great. It's basically, like, grind mode on, grind mode off. Another great thing I've seen is in Conception 2, um, if you're high enough level over the enemy you're facing, uh, when you fight find the enemy, it just skips the whole battle and just gives you the experience. It just gives you the money and experience. You're like, here, why even bother? You're just gonna slam it. 
it's great. More games need, like, RPGs with, like, sort of, like, grindy systems need, like, here. <laughs> you don't need to waste your time doing this bullshit. Sort of, like, anti-grind mechanics like that. I think the best way to do it would be a game that does both things, like, lets you set the encounter rate, and also, if you hit an enemy, you don't need to fight, it just, it just, it just ends the battle and just gives you the crap. FF7 Remaster lets you turn off encounters. That's pretty great. Same company, though, so. Square, square nose. I most certainly did not do that. That man was hoisted by his own petard. Using the intel gained from Madison, Agent Thornton met Conrad Marburg at his village outside Genoa. Trying to take Marburg's uh, unaware, Agent Thornton surrendered himself at the door and attempted to learn what he could from the VCI officer and uh, suspected Halbeck ally. Agent Thornton angered Marburg during their conversation, who then had Thornton incapacitated and left him to be disposed of. Agent Thornton fought his way out of Marburg's villa. Uh, Agent Thornton chose to go with Madison as his handler for this mission, considering she'd been inside Marburg's villa before, her knowledge of the layout would be helpful. Bonus objective, Agent Thornton gathered intelligence on Marburg's operation from around the villa. According to the information obtained from Marburg's office and his computers, it seems Marburg has been using VCI resources to track Agent Thornton. A tap discussion between Marburg and the Halbeck CEO, Henry Leland, was discovered along with briefings on Agent Thornton's activities in Saudi Arabia and Rome. None of this intel explains why Marburg did not execute Agent Thornton once he met him in the cafe in Rome, but comments in Marburg's files hence his agenda may be to uncover Agent Thornton's connection to Alpha Protocol and see what member of the organization is feeding him information. This implies some connection between Marburg and Alpha Protocol, but the connection is not indicated in the files. With the information obtained from the villa, Agent Thornton now has two targets available in Rome that should shed more light on Marburg's plot and how the plot benefits Halbeck. New mission gain, investigate delivery at warehouse. New mission gain, investigation transmission at ruins. We have so far killed a grand total of no people during this mission. And we sustained no damage during this mission, which is pretty good, honestly. Not gonna lie. But we did create $58,516 worth of medical bills. So, Soul Hackers 2 takes the system from Tokyo Mirage system uh, sessions. You hit the enemy and knock them down, and you can either approach them for an advantage in battle or try and book it. Huh. Got a present for you. Uploading the information now. Receiving. Sure is a lot of security. And that's that. Does that game come out next month? When's that coming out? I thought it said like month six or something. Anything on the news? Hey Mike, I've downloaded the information you've turned from Marburg Systems. A lot of it's encrypted, but two locations along with timestamps were referenced repeatedly in the files. One is a warehouse in the Aprilla district on the outskirts of Rome. Can't find anything unusual about it, and Marburg's using it for his plans in Rome. He's covered his tracks well. It's worth checking out. But just to warn you, there's a police station a few blocks from the warehouse. If there's trouble, the authorities will respond quickly. Try to be quiet unless absolutely necessary. The other one is some Roman ruins outside of Carsule. I can't bring anything up on the satellite feeds, so I'm not certain what's planned there. The little I've decrypted suggests, excuse me, a meeting or transaction of some sort, but what's brought there I have no idea. In any event, I've sent uh, data on both locations to your PDA. I wish you luck, but at this point, I don't think you needed as much as better intel. I'll get working on it. Mina. August. Hold on, I can do this. August 26th. So the eighth month. I'm not good with months. <sighs> Sold out of tranquilizer rounds. Okay, interesting. Let's see. Investigate rooms, transmission, crashing problems, backup, save. That 
is the kind of notes that I like to see. Thank you, me. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to see. I like to see notes that are like, hey, by the way, All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. Investigate Rune's transmission. A transfer of information between Marburg's men is set to take place in an excavation of ancient Roman runes. Just out cards say you. Investigate the runes for intel on Marburg's operation. On a note, Elsamatis contacted you and informed you that one of their cells is at the ruins and they were contacted by a military force of Rome to deliver weapons to the location. Elsamatis have extensive smuggling connections and contacts within customs when it comes to getting weapons into Europe. Shahid is sending word to Elsamat operatives at the site to hold their fire and treat you as an ally. Thank you, Shahid. My best buddy, Shahid, my favorite terrorist. <laughs> yeah, you forgot about that, huh? <laughs> Blew up a plane full of people. I like how other RPGs for SMT fans is literally a, a bland SMT knockoff. Such as? All right, I'm at the ruins. And the bike? It's close by. It's a nice ride. Looks like the area is under renovation. SMT ripoff. If I were to recommend SMT fans a game. Looks like was right. One of their cells is operating here. Lost Child. Unfamiliar. Honestly, there's so much crossover between SMT and Pokemon that I think I could legitimately recommend Pokemon to an SMT fan. Well, no. Th see, I think that's... Mm. Honestly, maybe not, though. Because here's the thing, right? What I... No, honestly, there's a lot of crossover. No, there's a lot of crossover. Pokemon games do tend to be plot light also, which is... Something that I think an SMT fan could really appreciate. First person dungeon crawler, you fight things for myths. Oh, yeah, that is really on the nose, ain't it? Trying to take in all the sights I see. Gonna see how the renovations are going. Yeah, honestly, I think Pokemon and SMT are the, the games with the largest crossover. I guess other than Lost Child, I suppose, but... You got your monster collection, you got your light plot, you got your weirdly apocalyptic undertones, overtones in SMT's case. Don't need these munitions finding their way into Rome. That's one. I mean, Pokemon's a little more complicated than SMT, but SMT's also a lot more edgy, so I, I don't... <sighs> Do SMT fans appreciate SMT gameplay? I'm actually not sure what they like. Any idea what they're up to? No, I'm gonna find out. SMT fans seem to like plot-like games, but then at one random point they hate it and want a fully fleshed out story. That's because they like plot-like games, but they don't realize that they like plot-like games. They think... Because what... The thing with SMT fans is they only think they like story-heavy games because they don't know that they don't. They're just wrong about what they like. They just don't know that they don't like it. Which is why Pokemon is perfect for them. Honestly, there's a lot of pro crossover with Pokemon. Although, like I said, Pokemon is actually way more complicated than SMT. But they might appreciate that?
Why do they freak out over SMT5? Because they like to complain. There is, and I'm not going to say this for certain, a good chance that, because because Pokemon hits a similar wall with this, uh, is that there is a good chance that the people complaining of one of these problems, like the people complaining about there being too light of a story, and the people complaining uh, that there's too heavy of a story, are not necessarily the same group of people. Like, when you're looking online, all of the voices can tend to blend together, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're the same group of people saying the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you, when you look at voices over the internet all complaining about shit, you tend to group them together as, like, this is SMT fans, when in reality they're all, like, different people with their own opinions. So it seems like one side is saying the other, and one side is, like, saying one thing, and one side is saying the other. But it's not necessarily people flip-flopping so much as a sort of divide in the fandom itself. Now, there are people that definitely flip-flop. And with those people, they either don't know what they like, or they're not actually fans. They're just fans of, like, the older parts of the game. Like, they might be fans of, like, the older games, but they're just straight up not fans of the modern stuff, in which case their opinions are irrelevant anyway, frankly. Uh, I don't know what fans like anymore. Uh, I know what I like, and that's it. Here's something funny I've noticed. But yeah, no, I, I do think, I, I think there's a lot of crossover between Pokemon and SMT. Like, probably more crossover between any two. I don't know if I could name a game with more crossover than those two, frankly. Ancient Roman plumbing with a minor in architecture. Ugh. Signal's breaking up a little, Mike. Must be the ghosts down here. Are you in the catacombs? Yeah, but not for much longer. Don't want to pick up any curses. Dun 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 Basic muzzle assist. Nocturne came out in Japan. People didn't like how light on story it was compared to SMT2. So SMT4 had more heavy story in 2. Then fan complains it wasn't like Nocturne. So 5 is like Nocturne. Now they're mad about the same shit Japanese fans were in 2003. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Like, when a, when a fandom is divided like that, you gotta just straight up ignore it. Like, fans are the reason games kind of... I mean, obviously not... I'm not willing to, like, fully commit on this, but, like... Fa there are several cases about games coming out shittier because the fans had an opinion about them. Like, Dark Souls 2 comes to mind as a game that, like, parts of the game were changed to appeal to what fans said they wanted, and it just came out like garbage. Like, one of the things people said is that, like, uh, they would like Dark Souls to be harder, so they made it harder. And then people complained. So, yeah, it, like, there's a certain part where y you kind of have to, like, trust the creative vision and just straight up not listen to the fans, because the fans are stupid. The fans are stupid and they don't know what they want. I, there's actually marketing research that shows that people do not know what they want. So... Like... People know what they like when they get it, but if you were to ask someone what they like without them having already acquired it, like they they do tend to not know what it is that they actually like. People people are often very poor at being self-aware in these regards, and there there's been like marketing studies that show that. Dark Souls could use more exploit glitches. They've all had exploit glitches. Um, like, I think every single one of them has had an exploit glitch, but they usually try to patch them out. I'm 
hope the world doesn't end up like this. If how I don't know it. why they try to patch it out. I don't... It's not like Dark Souls sells, like, grind DLC. But they try to patch it out. Must hack faster. I've got a link to all the transmissions to this. Oh no, I'm with you. But I'll need some time to trace the signal's origin. So I just stand here and wait. Now you know how I feel. Just make sure nothing interferes with the station until I've finished the trace. Then Then? What then? We've got trouble, don't we? Protect the trace, Mike. If we lose it now. Don't worry, they're not getting anywhere near it. No, I'm with you. I'm all for exploits in Dark Souls. Anything to make the games less, uh, like, more... I don't know what I was gonna say. I was gonna say approachable or fun. Fun. I can't believe they killed the Twitch desktop apps. The only thing I ever used that for was to run Minecraft mods. Although that brings the question, how am I ever going to run Minecraft mods now? I didn't know they did that. Why'd they do it? Also, uh, heads up, absolutely cannot cap out during this. This area tends to glitch and break the whole game. Mike, what did you do? Erasing my tracks and the weapons. I bombed the Coliseum. April was a pretty good month for Atlas, though. There was the top 20 3DS games that sold the most on eShop. Uh, before Nintendo kills the store, and like the top 10 was all the Atlas games except for two Pokemon games. I don't know, they announced it last month, but I didn't read the fine print. Now I have to use a web browser. Yeah, I only use a web browser. What does it do? The the app? I. The, the Twitch app? I just use it for Minecraft mods. I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Uh, intelligence from Marburg's villa re revealed a transfer of information between Marburg's men at the site of the ancient Roman ruins outside Carcilla, Italy. The game-breaking bug. Oh, I don't remember. It says crashing problems backup save. If I remember, the game, like, freezes and crashes here. I'm actually not sure. But I have it, but I do remember it occurring. I remember having the issues before, and I made a note about it. So whatever it was, was worth making a note about. Uh, intelligence obtained from Marburg... By the way, this does not exist in, like, the PS3 version. I only ever had this issue on PC. Intelligence and blah blah blah, Carcia, Italy. At the entrance to the ruins, Agent Thornton was met by Elsamod soldiers who allowed him to pass without trouble. Whoops. Agent Thornton explored the ruins and found a satellite array used for communications between an Alsamod cell and Marburg. Marburg was using an Alsamod to smuggle munitions into the country undetected, and the Carcea ruins uh, was pi the pickup point. Uh, Agent Thornton successfully hacked the communications array and created an uplink so Mina could trace the sources of various signals. Agent Thornton defended the array, buying Mina enough time to trace the transmissions. Agent Thornton set remote charges at all the weapon caches and detonate them as they left the area. He literally bombed an ancient Roman ruin. <laughs> uh, only $51,536 uh, in medical bills. Yeah, I actually only use... I've never used the Twitch app. I assume it sucks, honestly. Mike? Huh? Oh. 
sorry. Long day. I imagine. They're airing reports on a shootout at the ruins. And while they're not admitting anything, the word is that it was a terrorist cell. If I remember, you have to do these missions in this exact order or you don't get this scene. Nothing I couldn't handle. Got shot at, shot back. It's an old story. You just like to live dangerously then? Well, I invited you here, didn't I? Are you hurt? No. Just need to get my second wind. I have to get to the warehouse soon before the leads grow cold or Marburg moves the evidence out. I'm still running on adrenaline anyway. I noticed you had medical supplies in the cabinet. If you want, I could... I'd appreciate that. I'm starting to forget what it's like not to be shot at. I've got more scars than skin now. You look fine. They must all be under the shirt. Yes, I heal fast, along with the good skin. Thank my mother for that. You should get some sleep now. Hell yeah, level up time. What's up? All right. Let's see, I can buy two more levels of pistol for accuracy, and then we can get. Looks like we, the max we can get is chain shot expert. Five shots, 15 seconds. That's pretty good. Why does FF15 on PC have Half-Life costumes? Uh, cause it's on Steam. All right, well, I've made it past the game-breaking bug. I kind of want a waterfall like this, but I don't have the space to put it anywhere, and also it seems like a colossal waste of water. Also, bugs. Bugs love water. Well, I guess bugs don't like running water. Uh, as a checkup, we have killed zero people, created zero orphans, but we have created how much? One million, one hundred, no, yeah, one million, one hundred and twenty thousand five hundred and thirty dollars in medical bills. I'll let her sleep. You know, a totally normal amount of medical bills to create. <laughs> Mr. Thurton, I trust things went well with my brethren in Italy. I have not heard back from them, uh, but that is to be expected. Those that do not communicate are rarely overheard. Are you now seeing the effects of rich men having... Uh, on the events of the world, I admit I know very little of the specific plans Albeck has in store for Europe, but when I look back at my own involvement with them, they are no doubt manufacturing some sort of enemy or crisis, one that taxpayers of the European Union will unwillingly pay billions to destroy. S. Uh, Sack shows off his house like, yeah, here's my pretty basic nothing special house, this white wall, you know, basic everyday middle class house, but check out my bitchin' waterfall, it tracks down. <laughs> Okay, well, honestly, now you're selling me on the waterfall idea. I'm not gonna lie. Like... <laughs> now, now I actually think it would be even cooler. Okay, I need to investigate a warehouse, check up on Madison, and then sex. Gotta fancy up the everyday white wall middle class house. Hell yeah, I do! I gotta have some kind of flavor now that I took down all my posters. 
The intel received from Marburg's villa reveals the agency that has been leasing a small storehouse in the Aprilla industrial area on the south side of Rome. There is a scheduled delivery from a faction of Russian dealers this afternoon. Infiltrate the warehouse, secure what evidence you can on the transaction, then get out without being detected by authorities. An anonymous tip has instructed you a payment concealed in a briefcase with a false bottom somewhere in the warehouse. My water bill is too high and I can't eat this wink, but I got a cool water bill. You're, I still, you're making, you keep calling it a cool waterfall, and it's still making me want the waterfall, quite frankly. <laughs> now, uh, the problem with, if you've never had a water fixture in your house, the number one issue is having to deal with the pipes and the tubes. It's, it's too, the problem is it's too much effort. So that's a, I think that's a glitch that exists in all versions of the game. Because I have literally no idea why whenever you jump that wall, your gun comes pointed at that guy. It might be intentional because, like, maybe the maybe Obsidian thought that looked cool, and it does. But, like, you normally have to engage aim mode manually. But for whatever reason, whenever you enter this mission, your gun is just pointed at that guy's head automatically. Everything? No. I think we will need more than that. Why is it 171 gigs? Because it has high graphics, and it's a big old open world. Can't make capital numbers? Russians. You can certainly try. Looks like they're being shipped somewhere. Just played the same price as six for 15. No, actually, yeah, that that's uh, something I've noticed. Like the old Final Fantasy games are really pricey on uh, Steam for whatever reason. Dossier information on Scarlet Lake. I bet we got some good stuff.
Well, I think that's why uh, Arsic is uh, modding the original back in. You can, but then you need something that can play those. Which is where most people's problems come in. I have a PS3 and a PS2. A lot of people don't, though. I do. I need a PS1 memory card and then I can play the games that don't play well on PS3. Yeah. Mike, the police channels are lighting up. Are you still at the warehouse? I interrupted the lethal question and answer session. Getting some additional data now. Well, the authorities are on their way. So whatever you need to do, you do it quickly. They'll be here in a few minutes. Got a hack. Almost done, but I want to know who they were torturing. Let me ID them and then I'm out of here. All right, but hurry. Uh, mods for the old Steam version seem very buggy Mike, and outdated. PS2, no TV component inputs, can't buy a converter box. Yo, uh, what? You know what I found out? What'd you find out? There are can inputs in my car. Huh. Got an ID and some papers he had on him. Good. Now get out of there. They're almost outside the warehouse. They're pulling up now. Where's the exit? Oh, through the back. Hurry up. Please, Hurry up. Lay down your arm. Look, I'll beat the shit out of a whole blast police station. Let's go. You don't have enough cops in your damn precinct. Who's left? Let's go. Come on. Keep it going. You done? More? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, now you're out of cops. That's what happens. Uh, I still have my uh, uh, Freem boot mem card and my KHC final mix with English patch. The Intel. Oh man. The intel received from Marburg's villa reveals Marburg leasing a small storehouse in the Aprila industrial area on the south side of Rome. Also listed in the information was a scheduled delivery from Russian weapon dealers. Agent Thornton was able to infiltrate the warehouse, secure evidence on the transaction, then get out without being detected. Nice. Thornton arrived over here, a man being interrogated. The man interrogated was killed in the crossfire between the Russians and Marburg's men. After searching his body, Thornton found his papers, and the man identified as an arms merchant specializing in explosives and bombs. As a side effect, it also attracted the attention of local law enforcement. Marburg's men had their interrogation interrupted by Russians, and a gun battle ensued. During the sweep of the warehouse, Agent Thornton found a shipping payment and a duffel bag. Shortly after Agent Thornton retrieved the office records, local authorities converged on the scene, but Thornton escaped before being spotted. That isn't true! I knocked out half of them! Combined with the information obtained from the ruins, the records in the warehouse should be enough to piece together Marburg's plane in Rome, hopefully uh, his target. I only have two imported Madison. games, I think. Madison, Are you here?
Mike? Which is Valkyrie Revolution and Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. Was it enough? Can you take it to the authorities? No. If I do that, they won't respond in time. I have to do it. No, you don't. Let the police handle this now. You can let them capture... Let her sleep? Get out of here. Hell no. Nah. I appreciate the concern. And I appreciate you trying to warn me about Marburg. I didn't want him to kill you. You had such a nice smile in the photograph. I was smiling. Must have been years ago. There it is again. You should do that more. I try. The job gets in the way. I've heard that before. I didn't mean to wake you when I got in. We've had a rough couple days. You didn't wake me. I was waiting for you to come back. I meant to stay awake longer, but you were gone for a long time. I was worried something had happened to you. I'm glad you're back. Me too. I was worried when I came back something had happened to you. Just dreaming. Good ones, I hope. Very. Oh yeah! I don't know, I haven't played Final Fantasy XV. Anything on the news? Nothing about Marburg. Marburg was able to get the munitions into the country through Al Samad, but the warehouse was the destination of the bombs. He wasn't planning to destroy the warehouse, though, right? Was he planning to store the bombs there, use them later in Rome? Excuse me. Well, that doesn't make much sense. The warehouse was on the outskirts of Rome, and there's plenty of other storage areas he could have used. So there was something special about that warehouse. It's inventory. New it's recipe? art and museum pieces, right? I could call up the inventory and see if there's any possible name or location connection. Or any of the warehouse pieces outbound through customs? Maybe he was smuggling weapons and art pieces. I doubt it. It looks like the pieces were intended for a museum in the city. Although... Wait, no. Some of the pieces had already been shipped out. To where? I used to work part-time in restoration in one of the museums. I may be able to help. It's actually part of the reason Marburg hired me, I think. Marburg hired you because you used to work at a museum? Yeah, the Museum of Art in Rome. I think they have an exhibit on the Crusades showcase there now. What's wrong? Some of the pieces in that warehouse. I'm certain they were from that museum. He's going to bomb the museum. But why? I have no idea, but that's his target. I need to get there before he does. All right. We're going to buy the final level of chain shot. And then we're going to invest in two levels of technical aptitude. Five hours in uh, uh, remaining for Final Fantasy 15. Uh, let's see. Once we get six more points, we should be able to level up technical aptitude. And then the rest of our experience becomes worthless. Final Fantasy 15, yeah. I hear that game isn't good. I'll let her sleep. Yep, that looks good. Why do I have that? I don't need any of that. Why would I need incendiary grenades and regular grenades? When have I... I've never killed anyone in this entire playthrough somehow. But it made me cry, so I hold it near to your heart. So it's not the first time you've played it then? Marburg and his men are attacking a museum in Rome in the guise of Alcimon terrorists. They plan to set off a bomb inside a museum after evacuating their own forces through the underground tunnels. Stop Marburg and his soldiers and disarm the bomb. You acquire a map of the museum with details on Sokorte. Uh, 